Google will wait on hold for you. And Facebook takes a big step toward merging its messaging apps. Rich Demiro joining us live from home with today's TechSmart. Rich, good morning. Hey there, good morning to you, Chris. Good morning to you, Megan. Yeah, Facebook is putting its Messenger app inside Instagram. This is a very big change. This means that Instagram users will be able to chat with Facebook users and vice versa. Now on Instagram, users are going to get an option to upgrade to the new experience. And once you do, you cannot go back to the old style Instagram DMs. And once you upgrade to Messenger, you won't need the separate Facebook Messenger app installed on your phone. Instagram will be able to handle it all. You're gonna get various new features, including watch together, disappearing messages, chat colors, and more. Basically, if a friend or family member is on one of these platforms, but not the other, no matter which platform you're on, you'll still be able to chat with them. And don't be surprised if you start seeing more audio tweets on Twitter. The company is expanding the feature to uh, be available to more users. Twitter first introduced the audio tweet to some users back in June. The feature lets you record your voice to tweet, almost like a voicemail that anyone can listen to. Right now, the feature is still only on iPhone. Twitter says it is coming to Android and the web next year. Twitter says it's also working on a way to transcribe these audio tweets for more broad accessibility. And yesterday, Google released a whole bunch of new gadgets, but uh, one feature in particular is kind of a standout. It's uh, the ability to have Google wait on hold for you. The feature is called Hold For Me. Here's how it works. When you call an 800 number and they put you on hold, Google Assistant springs into action and listens to the music for you. Then when someone picks up, your phone will notify you. Hold For Me will be available on the company's Pixel 5 phone first. It could come to other phones after that. Now you can find me online at Rich on Tech. Tomorrow in TechSmart, I'm gonna go over all of the gadgets that Google released, including, let's see, a new Chromecast for TV, a new Pixel phone, like I said, and a new smart speaker, which, oh, I've got it over here, but <coughs> yeah, probably should have planned this out better, but there it is. Nice. This is the new uh, Nest audio. I haven't oh, even opened cool. this yet, but we'll go over all this tomorrow. Nice. All right. Thank you so much, Rich.